VIP World presents your travel hands journey, how to guide and what to expect. Both you and the VIP will receive a notification one hour before the journey. The notification will include journey details such as the one-time password, where you will be meeting the VIP, where you will be walking to and a recommended route. Make sure to get there promptly, ideally even arriving a few minutes early. When you arrive at the meeting point, approach the VIP, greet them by their name and say the one-time password. There are a few important things to know before you commence your journey. When introducing yourself, ask the VIP before touching them and if they would like you to be on their left or right side. Place the back of your hand on the back of the VIP's hand. This will let them know where your arm is. Make sure the VIP is holding your arm just above the elbow. Your arm should be at a 90 degree angle. It is important for you to be a half or whole step in front of the VIP. This allows enough space for you to both stop without bumping into each other while also being close enough to safely guide. You might have to switch sides when guiding. For example, when moving through a door, make sure the VIP is on the hinged side. Explain that you need to switch sides and pause walking to do so. Open the door and proceed to walk through. In the event that you have to walk through a narrow space like a small hallway or a crowd of people, you might have to adjust how you're walking. Explain the situation to the VIP before moving your guiding arm behind your back. Their VIP should still keep their hand on your arm. Have them step behind you to walk in single file. Once the narrow space has ended, resume guiding as you were before. When walking with a VIP, you may encounter a dangerous situation, such as a speeding car. The VIP cannot see the threat, so say something like stop and prioritise getting to safety before explaining. You should only touch the VIP without warning if it is necessary. When approaching a curb, slow down and inform the VIP as to whether it is a curb up or a curb down. When crossing the road, make sure to go straight across rather than at an angle. When approaching steps, inform the VIP and let them know if they are going up or down. Then, ask the VIP whether they would prefer to put their hand on the handrail or if they would rather keep hold of your arm. Ask the VIP if they are ready to proceed. Slowly walk up or down the stairs while remaining one step ahead of them. When you reach the top or the bottom, let the VIP know there's the last step. Just as you might enjoy observing scenery when you walk, many VIPs enjoy having scenes described to them. However, it's a good idea to ask before doing so, as some VIPs may find it distracting. VIPs use the same expressions as those who are sighted. Asking if they have seen a certain movie, for example, is fine. When going through an automatic ticket barrier, let the VIP go first. Ask for their ticket and scan it for them to let them through. You can join them and give their ticket back when on the other side. Upon arrival at the destination point, we kindly ask you to inform us that the journey has been completed. And at the end of every journey, we will ask you for feedback. We collect this information to improve our service. Here is a summary of the key points made in this video. The notification will contain the one-time password, pick-up point, destination point, and a recommended route. Greet the VIP by their name and say the one-time password. Before touching a VIP, ask them which side they prefer to be guided on. Make sure the VIP is holding your arm just above the elbow. Make sure you are a half or whole step in front of the VIP. You might have to switch sides when guiding, an example is when going through doors. When walking through a narrow space, the VIP should keep their hand on your arm and step behind you to walk in a single file. Say something like stop and prioritise getting to safety before explaining in an emergency. At curbs, inform the VIP as to whether it is a curb up or a curb down. When approaching stairs, inform the VIP and let them know if they are going up or down. When you reach the top or bottom, let the VIP know it is the last step. When going through an automatic ticket barrier, let the VIP go first. You can help to scan their ticket. 